more pure that he has popped off on. And maybe a lot of it comes down to that Ramsey's Mars, right? He's now 7-1 on this hero. Just doesn't lose. Pure will snag the first blood. Big win for him. The team fight presence from these two supports. By the way, Soxa still not level 6 on this Snapfire. They are missing so much damage because of that. Just needs just a little One bit more, more experience to get him there. And now they don't have the kisses to combo off this arena quite yet. Just got and it. as a result, they need more damage. Maybe Darachu can live through this. Now the kisses come in still though. Rams are gonna die for it and so does Pure. So maybe they've killed the enemy carry, but they've lost their own and their offlaner as a result with Quinn hitting the back line as well. It's gonna be more. Disruption goes out, but he's surrounded. He comes back out. Too many heroes to survive. Four dead. You got the enemy carry, but was it worth it, Tundra? Not at all. That is a steep price to pay. And less than 30 seconds here. Could easily make another play. Or just go straight to this tier two bottom. No glyph available. Yeah, the, the, this bear, it's going to take this tier three so quickly. Here comes the gate on through. They tried to go for Duracho, but he got yeah, up his ultimate. Him. He has a way more HP. Do they have the damage to bring down this lone druid? A hop in for the Pangolier. They've diced up Soxa, and it looks like this lone druid is dead. Can they do the damage from Gaming Gladiators? Anyway, what a beautiful spear back from Ramses. Managed to put somebody else isolated. It's the Marcy that goes down. Ace is on the run. He's low. Gaming Gladiators threaten the high ground, and they may pay the price for it. Though a rolling thunder catches Ramses, they try to push forward for oh, the tanky off laner. Poison. Now he's in some trouble. Poison after poison, though, is coming in. Quinn, he misses the swashbuckle, fails to get the kill on Ramses, and here comes Thompson. He's got damage. Quinn had TP away, denied by Ramses. He said, were you looking for me? I was on the high ground, and now I'm on the low ground, taking your life. And Tundra, they're poking in their own jungle, feeling like Gaiman are split on the map. They're right about that. They certainly are. Celery, shackle shotted. Ace is gonna go in as well as Quinn to try and bail him out. Celery's still in trouble though, being chased by the pure will whirlwind. Got all these heroes oh, inside of the arena. arena. Ramsey's coming in from behind. Hits a really nice one. Trying to finish off Celery, still got the other support instead. Ramsey, he's still not gonna alive. get it right now. Celery's actually bodying them. And pure, he can't chase after it either. In fact, he's in trouble right now. He needs to get out. Thompson though, he did the damage to bring down the Aegis Pangolier. Yeah, he'll always just be able to run straight at the pango even if he's rolling thundered right that's going to be his best target Paired up poke here whoa celery damage. hopping way past there i think he was looking for the shadow team and instead they're gonna have to try and kill thompson as the disruption's down down but the lasso pulled the bear back out now they're in trouble inside of this arena the bat rider has been saved and he can reset quinn though still oh, looking thompson for him with rooted. the rolling thunder maybe thompson didn't back out in time this thought he could turn back around did not respect the push coming in from game of gladiators Gaiman, they still have a lot of sustain here. Nice tank there from Ramses, making sure that Pure is not going to be threatened by Eratovatos into Arrow. Now he's being threatened by a pit, has to use the BKB, chases after them with the Whirlwind, doesn't have the arena to keep heroes inside this time around. They're going for the bear, and they might just be able to oh, get him. Wait, alive. the bear comes out, stop the kisses. Spear. Oh, a spear chases after him, but Duracho's too fast. He gets ahead of him. Quinn's in the middle of this, trying to go after Pure with the wind run. No, it's going to run out. He gets taken out. Buybacks. Quinn finds his man. Buybacks being being used by Tundra, but all of a sudden a 7,000 net worth lead has doubled to 15k, and the assault from Gaming Gladiators will be halted for now. But, but of course you have damage buffs coming up. 30 seconds for the Solar Flare. All the auras are back up for Ace. Pure is just about to come back up. They need to try and punish Gaming Gladiators while he's coming back up. The arrow does land onto Batrider, trying to get him a cooking way. Gaming Gladiators chase and chase and chase and disruption. Still going after the Batrider while Quinn is disrupting all of these supports. Good hits all oh, around for the Rolling Thunder while Salary and Duracci are doing some damage. Salary won't stop until he's dead, which now he is. Now the rest of the team without their big Marcy carry apparently Pure are going to make a run for it. Duracci has used BKB. Is it Flee or fight. It looks far. like it's a fight. And pure, a fight that he can't win, apparently. A triple kill for Duraccio. Thompson's next one left. There's only two members of Tundra still alive. And now make it one. Gaming Gladiators own the Tundra base. Absolutely rolling over them in the second half of this fight. Pure did not even get his BKB off. Just got roared into oblivion. And the buyback from Celery. This beast of a five is back. He wants Leap to frogging over another one. Celery goes for it. Hippity hop and he finds the last kill of Gaming Gladiators. Tundra. They've lost their heroes. They've lost their base. And perhaps 
saving the best for last. The final day of TI will finally get to see a game three on the main stage as Gaming Gladiators, this time around, their push works around a lone druid. The timing's just worked out way better here. This Pangolier controlled a lot of the map, controlled the fight. Thompson 